Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. Hi, I'm John Sitton. Hello, I'm Rob Perez. Christian Carambeau. Welcome to your Football and Fix. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. We've got football videos on YouTube, blogs, debates and discussion on Facebook and Twitter. Plus we do a podcast and so much more. It's we the people for the people. For our videos, including our interviews and special features, check out youtube.com forward slash pitch talk. Our podcast can be found on iTunes, Podomatic, TuneIn Radio and Spreaker with older podcasts on mixcloud.com forward slash pitch talk. Join the football revolution because the pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep and the pitch is where we talk. Join us on social media by searching for pitch talk. Hey peeps, what's up and welcome to a bonus special with this in the straight shooting view and of course you see the shirt I got on you know what I'm going to talk about there's nothing else worth talking about what is it? it's Friday 25th of May 2018 and we know what's tomorrow on the 26th Liverpool facing Real Madrid and you know what it's, it's, oh god in the words of Sting it's, 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 it's showtime folks because this final is going to be entertaining now you know what yeah as a Liverpool supporter, I'm going to open up and say, you know what, my prediction, I reckon we're going to take it 3-2. I reckon Liverpool are going to take it 3-2. And the reason why I'm saying such a high score is because both teams are not great at the back. And look at the attacks. Benzema, Bale, Cristiano, Ronaldo. It's one of them ones where that trio is tremendous. But matching that trio... Matching it, more than matching it. Step for every damn step. Mane, Firmino, and the main man this season, the revelation. 44 goals in all competitions, Mo Salah, who this season literally has been every bit as good as Cristiano Ronaldo. I'd love to say that's embellishment, but the facts speak for themselves. I think they are actually both on 44 goals in all competition. But the fact of the matter is, it's one of them ones where it's like both of them, Ronaldo and Salah, have been much more than just goal scorers this season as well. <clears throat> I think I think it's something I think it's something like 16 assists for Salah this season. So it's one of them ones, and I think Ronaldo's got nine himself. Something along those lines. But the fact of the matter is, this is gonna be an interesting game. I mean you look at Man United v Chelsea, that damp squib of an FA Cup final. Yeah, you're not gonna get. Yeah, you're not gonna get either team sitting back because neither team are brilliant at the back. And look at those front lines. I mean, there's gonna be key battles all over the place. It's gonna be very interesting to see Kroos and Modric against Henderson and Wijnaldum. It's gonna be very interesting. I feel for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain because I reckon he'd have started in this final if he wasn't injured. Get well soon, Ox. Get well soon. But the fact is, it's one of them. I mean, you look at you look at the fullbacks. You look at how Marcelo loves to get forward. You look at Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andrew Robertson and how they not only are doing a great job in terms of defensively, but also two of the best crosses in the Premier League as well. So it's one of them ones, man. You got attackers. You got attacking intent everywhere. And then, I mean, you look at Virgil Van Dijk in the air. I mean, Virgil Van Dijk has made such a difference since we bought him. Yeah, seventy-five million. Yeah, it's a bit much. But in today's inflated transfer market, if you want to call it that, it's one of them ones where actually it's about right. <laughs> when you consider Rio Ferdinand was bought for thirty million pound in what two thousand two. When you add 15 years, 15 plus years of inflation, it's actually about right, 75 million. But the fact of the matter is, leaving that aside, you know what? This final is going to be magical. It is going to be one of them ones, guaranteed goals. There ain't no way this is going to be a nil-nil draw. Because I said, both teams, they've had their moments at the back throughout the season. And hey, that's what's cost us in the league. But at the end of the day, the Champions League, it's always been a special relationship with Liverpool in the Champions League. Same with Real Madrid, must be said. I mean, will we make it six times? Will they make it 13 times? It's one of them ones. 
with us being with us being five time, five time, five time, five time, five time European champions. It is one of them ones where it's like we're looking like the Booker T of Europe, the Booker T of European football. But you got to look around Madrid. Twelve times could be thirteen tomorrow. They're sounding like the Ric Flair of football. So it's nuts. But. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a very interesting game. But you know what? One person who does kind of concern me more than most, apart from Benzema, apart from Bale, apart from Ronaldo, is Sergio Ramos. But Sergio Ramos kind of, he concerns me, but at the same time, kind of fills me with a bit of optimism. He is, I've got to give him his due, he is a big game player. No doubt. No doubt. Against Atletico Madrid the first time, who popped up with the winner in extra time? It was Ramos. Who, he's won a World Cup, European Championship. He's literally won everything there is to win in the game. He is world class. No doubt. No doubt. But, on the flip side, he's also got the worst disciplinary record in terms of red cards. He's got the, he's got the most amount of red cards in La Liga history. So, if you get in and around him, He's potentially good for a red, I reckon. So it's going to be very... Oh, we're all, oh, we're all high-pitched. But you know what? It is going to be really interesting. If we can get Mo Salah nipping, nipping at him, bothering him, niggling him, annoying him, hey, Ramos could... He could be one of them ones where no matter how much experience he's got, he could be prone to a red. And that's what's going to be interesting. But you know what? I reckon Kiev's going to be red tomorrow. I'm meeting up with a couple of friends to watch it because, boy, it's all about sinking some brewskis on a nice hot summer's night. But you know what? Wish I could be in Kiev. Would love to be there. But the fact is, whether you're watching it on YouTube via BT Sport, whether you're watching it on the TV, whether you're watching it via an illegal stream, I don't give a damn how you're watching it. But as a neutral, I think the neutrals are going to enjoy it. As a Liverpool supporter, I think it's going to be another roller coaster ride. But you know what? It's going. To, I, th- I think it's going to be a, a, a effing quality match, quality match. But you know what? Yeah, I said, literally going to be attack v attack, and the defenders are going to have a hell of a lot to do. But I think it's going to be a showpiece worthy of the biggest match in European football. And one of the biggest matches on the planet. A marquee final. Really is a marquee final. Liverpool against Real Madrid and Kiev. Love it. It's a shame that I think out of a like 63,000 seat a stadium that only 16,000 seats were given to each side. But that's, you know what? That's greed. That's fo- modern football for you. And that's another discussion for another time. But you know what? I'm looking forward to tomorrow's match. As said, my prediction... I think Liverpool winning 3 2. You know what? Let me know what you think. Comment section is below. I have been straight shooting LJA. Remember to join us, to join us for Pitch Talk Podcasts via iTunes, Mixcloud, Podomatic. Tune in as well. It is one of them ones. Facebook.com forward slash Pitch Talk. Become a fan, become a friend, become a member of the group. Join the Football and Revolution. We are working so hard to create. And you know what? I've been straight shooting LJA with the life of bird upon my chest. That's the team I love the best. And it's one of them ones. Champions League final is going to be fun. Remember, folks, it's showtime. Thanks for joining me on this special edition of the Straight Shooting View. Take it easy, peeps. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. Hi, I'm John Sitton. Hello, I'm Rob Perez. Christian Carambeau. Welcome to your Football and Fix. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. We've got football videos on YouTube, blogs, debates and discussion on Facebook and Twitter. Plus we do a podcast and so much more. It's we the people for the people. For our videos, including our interviews and special features, check out youtube.com forward slash pitch talk. Our podcast can be found on iTunes, Podomatic, TuneIn Radio and Spreaker with older podcasts on mixcloud.com forward slash pitch talk. Join the football revolution because the pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep, and the pitch is where we talk. Join us on social media by searching for Pitch Talk.